In example 1a, we will look at the future value of an annuity. In order to purchase a car, when you graduate from college, you plan to invest $2,400 at the end of each year for the next five years into a savings account. The APR is 8.4% compounded annually. How much will you have to buy your car in five years? Let's look at this example in the TVM solver on the calculator. Press the apps button, hit enter for finance and enter for the TVM solver. We want to go ahead and enter in the values for this particular problem. In N, we will have the number of years, which is five, times the compounding period, which is one. Five times one is just five. Our interest rate is 8.4%, so we'll enter in 8.4. Right now, the present value will be zero. We did not make a lump sum deposit, so we will make that part zero. We are, however, going to be making payments for each of the five years. So we will en end up putting in for our payment a negative 2400 because the money is coming out of our pocket. Skip future value because we want to solve for that. The payments per year and compounding periods per year will be 1 for annual. Arrowing back up to future value so we can solve, we hit alpha and enter. This gives us a future value of $14,192.58. In part B, we want to look at how much of the money we invested. In order to do this, we'll look at the number of payments we made, which was 2400 times 5. This gives us a total deposit of $12,000 when we multiply those two numbers out. How much did we earn in interest? That would be the future value, which is what we determined in the TVM solver of $14,192.58 minus the amount that we invested, which was $12,000, to give the amount of interest earned $2,192.58.